Good day and welcome to the project panel. My name is Gunnildur. I'm in Iceland. I live in Iceland and this is my podcast, vlog, chatty type of thing where I talk mainly about yarn, about knitting, crocheting, fibers, anything related to that. I also talk quite a bit about the weather because it's very interesting. Um, it's called the project panel because I have projects and they are in parallels and I just keep adding to the pile because what is finishing things? That's for some other people to do. <laughs> but yeah, so we had Summerglown Fist last Thursday. That is an official holiday here in Iceland. Literally means the first day of summer. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Literally a summer day. Wednesday, Thursday, it was summer. And then it was, it was Friday was just back to the Arctic Spring. Uh, just like this right now because, um, well, let's just say that um, the typical Arctic spring is really warm inside, um, sunny, blue skies, you're choking, you're way, way, way too warm. But if you dare to open a window or a door, it's cold. It is so cold. <laughs> Um, but yeah, last week we had a bit of a yeah, a bit of a heat wave. It was so lovely, like all the snow, the last of the snow in town, pretty much all it gone. My neighborhood is clear of snow. Um, the huge pile of snow that um, was of some meters in height, they are now down to whoop, the tiniest. It's lovely. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's not nearly as warm like last week we were in like plus 10 12 16 i think in at least some parts of the town and today it's like uh, it's been like minus one up to maybe plus two three that's a huge difference so it's like <sighs> but yeah um like I said, last Thursday was the first day of summer and I was going to do the thing, the funny thing. I was going to get started on the bikini that I really want to make for the summer. Did I? <laughs> no. Instead, I decided that it would be a fantastic idea and it actually was. Like, I do not regret. I decided to go and tidy up the... Um, a little bit like reorganization in the storage room because um, we do have one room in our household where we do put all the stuff <laughs> we don't really have space for it anywhere else and then we just close the door and wander off <laughs> but yeah I decided to tidy up a little bit because I really really needed to um, refresh my memory regarding my yarn collection um, because I can't keep it in front of me all the time, so I can't always remember what exactly I do have still. I have a lot, <laughs> but it's a little bit less now that I managed to finish a few things. I'm finished. I haven't really finished anything. I still have, I haven't finished the cardigan. I still haven't finished the, um, the other one or that one. Or the third one. Um, anyways. So what I did find was more of... I have no idea where the label is. Um, this yarn here. I got this off of Ice Yarn some years ago. This is a cotton. Really fun colours. And I, I have used it to make... Um, like racks. Cleaning racks. Because it's a really nice, I mean the color is fun, so it makes cleaning a little bit more fun. When you have fun colors in your rags, that's just, that's just more entertaining. But the cotton is this sturdy, a little rough, rough kind of cotton. I really like it. Um, well, I'm started on a... Also another thing that's good is that when you are making like these just cloths, cleaning rags type of things, making some kind of experiments with the stitches. Fantastic. 
because you are, you know, learning how to do the stitches, but because it's a cleaning rack, you don't need to make it perfect. Just make some perfect something, like you're making something that is going to be useful, but it doesn't need to be perfect. I like it. I love it. So I got to start on this one. It's just a simple little, like, kind of like a checkerboard type of thing, like 5x5 five five, um, stray stitches and then 5x5 five five purl. There's something that is nice to grab when... I'm watching something like I'm still trying to keep with my little rule of thumb of if I'm watching something on like TV or the computer screen, whatever, um, I try to be working on something. <laughs> try. If I'm not writing, I'm trying to be either crocheting or knitting or reading. I have so many hobbies. But the good thing about cleaning out or, you know, tidying up a little bit in these stories is that I found the cotton, this wonderful, wonderful cotton from Hobby that I got a while ago, that I'm going to make a crochet summer dress out of for this summer. So it's really good that I found this. Um, the original, because it's a free pattern, the original is in this wonderful, wonderful like blue tones. But I had this already in this like... Oh, wonderfully, wonderfully pink lilac -y type of colorways and I cannot wait. Um, that's another project on the pile. Another... Is a pattern hobby? Yes, it's another free pattern hobby. Is this really, really nice um, open back sweater that is made out of this really nice looking yarn. That really reminded me of a yarn that I got a while ago from Ice Yarns. And found it in this orange colorway. I did have quite a few <laughs> colors <laughs> because that's what happens when you buy your flies yarns. It's usually better to buy a little bit more, I feel. At least that's what suits me. It's this Rockabilly. Again, I don't dare to go on ice yarns because I need to finish up the yarn that I already have before I can justify buying any more. I need to. But yeah, I feel like this colorway is going to be absolutely fantastic for that um, open back pullover. It is... I mean, Rocka Billy is 67% tensile and 33% polyamid. And I did check, like, the... Um, uh, the weight and the length of the yarn, the no, the um, recommended um, needle size, <coughs> and it does seem like it's going to fit. Like, I mean, the yarn that Hobby is using in there, their yarn is a little bit different, quite a bit different. That one doesn't have tensile in it. Um, tensile is. Plant fibers. <laughs> That's all I know. I do remember this plant fiber, but I have no idea what exactly it is. But it's really, really soft. So I, yes. So that is yet another project that I am wanting to get done and finish before summer because I think that's gonna be really, really nice. I'm really hoping that we're gonna get a summer summer this year because I am so ready for it. Like I'm gonna be have that crochet like this dress. Um, I'm gonna have a bikini. I have no idea if I'm actually gonna wear it, but I'm gonna make it. And then the pants. There are pants that I'm gonna crochet. I'm not gonna learn from it anyway. Um, I just realized that there's a lot of crochet projects that I really want to get to. Get to. Because on top of that, sorry, a little break. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, because on top of the other projects that I already have planned, um, I rediscovered the two blankets that I was going to make ages ago. Pretty sure I got these. Where did I get these? Wool warehouse. I just had to check the ribbon. Wool warehouse. Ah, where are you? 
There it is. Look at it. So cute. But yeah, so <laughs> the June blanket and the cozy stripe blanket. So these are both crochet. I got these an embarrassing a long time ago. Honestly, I was going to make the, these like ages ago. But hey, life is as, as life is. The difference though is that now I am way more confident in my crocheting. So I feel like I am ready to embark on these blankets. Um, so yeah, that is yet another project. Two projects that I have no excuse for anymore. I just need to get going. <laughs> but yeah, that it still leaves like um the the granite square cardigan that I'm still working on, the brown one, and then the yellow version that I'm gonna be working on. And there is still <coughs> um the Knit night project, that's that one sweater, and then another. Let's just say I'm not gonna get bored for the remainder of this year or possibly the next two, three years. Because I have a lot of projects and Oh, the other thing that I want to mention I cannot remember where I put the things oh, Where do I put them? Anyway, so Because I found this yarn from Hubby I also found uh, Other yarn from Hubby that I Really need to get working on and that is uh, another jumper and a shawl, two shawls. So yeah, <laughs> I got a lot of things to work on, and I still fall into the temptation of buying more yarn because uh, I keep seeing more ideas and more ideas, and I'm like, ah, uh, I need to be more strict with myself. I need to. Uh, I keep trying, but yeah. I think that's enough for me this weekend. I still haven't done, I have nothing finished. I just keep adding to my pile. <laughs> yeah, I'll hopefully see you again next weekend and um, we'll see where I am at that point. Who knows what the future holds. So until then, take care. I hope life is as good to you as it possibly can be and hopefully a little bit better, way better. And I will see you again next weekend. Okay, take care. Bless, bless.